The team at Cincinnati Magazine is once again showcasing the best restaurants here in the tri-state and here to talk about all of the delicious things and places you can find in the new Cincinnati Magazine is Editor-in-Chief John Fox. Good to see you, John. Good morning. Gosh, you've been around longer than this issue, but it's been 20 years you've been doing this issue, yeah. right? Yeah. So um, you didn't do a top 10 again, kind of like last year. Just explain a little bit about why. Well. Part of the rankings is uh, the food, but part of it also is the service, part of it's the atmosphere. You know, the reason that we go to restaurants, it's not always just food. And obviously with the last couple of years, I mean, some restaurants, they're just trying to stay open. They mm -hmm. don't have the staff. A lot of them switch to takeout. So the idea of trying to evaluate and then compare restaurants right. based on all of those things just didn't seem fair. It's too hard. Now, and so instead, I like what you decided to do. You're highlighting local places with staying power. Yeah, right. Some of these restaurants have been in many, many Cincinnati Magazine Best Restaurant exactly. issues. So what we did is, this is our 20th, as you said. Right. So we went back to the very first list, which was the top 25. Yeah. And it turns out that nine of those 25 are still in business. That's amazing. Yeah, and still doing well. So what we did is we, we kind of went back and revisited them because like most, like you guys, we tend to focus on the new restaurants mm -hmm. and the new chefs and all that. But this gave us a chance to go back and look at places like The Precinct or Trio or Brown Dog Cafe or Boca. Nicola's uh, is another Nicola's, one. one China thing, Kitchen. Yeah, one thing that struck me is a couple of them were on their second generation of family yeah. running things. You've got Christian Pietoso yeah. at Nicola's, and sure. you've got Brittany Ruby and her at brother Ruby. at the Ruby's yeah. restaurants. And others have changed ownership. They've been yeah. sold since 20 years ago. Brown Dog has moved, uh -huh. some closed and reopened. So, but yeah, they're still it's great. A, they're still great. And yeah. so it gave us a chance to kind of remind people that in these days and times that um, you know, having a restaurant that's still open after 20 years, and some are older than that, is really remarkable. Yeah, because sadly, several places no, have closed during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, you also have some new classics in there yeah. that you picked out. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about well, that. Well, things that we think maybe 20 years from now we'll be talking ah, about, you yeah. know. And so we talked about uh, Pep and Dolores down mm -hmm. and over the Rhine. We talked about also Sacred Beast that's down there. Pearl Star, which is a new restaurant. I haven't tried that one yeah, yet. Yeah, we think that those restaurants might be yeah, like we said, classics 20 years from now. You know, one of the things that's interesting is in our first list uh, 20 years ago of 25 restaurants, there was one restaurant in Over the Rhine. Wow, that's amazing. Well, yeah. How much things have changed well, in 20 when years? When I think about how it was when I've been here 23 years, when mm -hmm. I think about what it was like when I moved here. And, and here what are the, like those now. three restaurants I just mentioned, yeah. they're all in Over the Rhine. And still new places opening. You've oh, got Alcove sure. that's just yep. getting ready to open yep. now. Yep. Yep. Um, so moving forward, do you think you'll ever do that top 25 list again, or will yeah. you find a new way of doing it? No, yeah. Well, I mean, I think we'd like to do it next yeah. year, next March, um, because I, I think that the people in the restaurant industry look at that. Um, uh, they like it. They, you it's know, it's a feather in the cap. It's a feather in the cap. Yeah. Everybody complains when they're not number one. <laughs> you know, it can yeah. only be number one, number one. But, um, but it shows also that ranking shows how restaurants go up and down. Mm -hmm. And maybe again, like over the Rhine, where new uh, neighborhoods or new trends are happening. Right. So yeah, we'd like to go back to it. Next Why year. are we such a foodie town, Cincinnati? I don't know. I think we were talking about this off air, but I think a lot of it has to do with Jean Robert. Mm. You know, when he came to the Masonette, um, he brought that classic French cuisine with him, but then he really um, became a Cincinnatian. Mm -hmm. And so many people who went to work for him are now running their own restaurants. I think that has a lot to do with it. I don't think it's all his doing, but. He, he is a big part of it. I would agree. He's it. like a pebble in the pond he with is. just all the ripples outward. Yeah. And when they named that street after him last fall, you yeah. saw all of those chefs oh, come man. out and pay homage to oh, him. They do. And they love yeah. him. And, and, and he's still at Barra Boeuf. He's still yeah. up there on Victory Parkway. And that's the other thing that's good about this scene, I think, is that all those folks are friends. They're, mm -hmm. they're competitors, but they're friendly competitors. And right. I think it's the idea that if we have a good restaurant scene, in general, then each restaurant within that has a better chance to succeed. Yeah, we all thrive. Yeah. And, I th and I think Cincinnatians, we love that we about do. our city. Like, we, we want to support that. And you yeah. saw that during the pandemic. Versus a chain too. restaurant or something. Right. Again, nothing wrong with those. But they want to support the people who are here. Right. Maybe they've opened up a little place. Maybe they put their life savings mm -hmm. into that place. Right. And they want to help them make it go. Yeah, it really is a great place. Yeah. The best restaurants issue is out in newsstands and online now. John, thank you so much. You're welcome. All Thanks. right. Bon appetit. <laughs> the